Are you having trouble on sadness? Zen Zero. Are you lagging? This video is for you. How to improve your performance in gameplay with Triple Z. I'm gonna say this along the video. So a few tips and tricks in case your game is lagging to lower down your settings without compromising too much your performance and keep having that smooth and graphically pleasing experience on whatever the mobile device you are using. As usual, I'm going to share the system requirement first that will help you to check for yourself online whatever your brand and your system if you can't take it or not and after i give you a few tips and tricks and finally i will share the quick bare minimum settings you should try on triple z to see if either or not your device can take it and by the way i have many old and new devices both androids and apple ios i'm testing on before to make this video these guys what you are seeing right now it's from 2019 iPhone 11 30 fps and also exactly the same 2020 Android device here just to show you that it works so let's start first to see if your phone whatever your brand here I'm gonna share with you the system requirement and you can check for yourself you put your brand on Google you put spec and you have to meet here you can see for Android and iOS the system requirement the minimum system requirement it's what you need to run the game at its lowest setting with 30 fps minimum so please put on pause check this and look at the gpu here at the processor requirement then you check the spec on your device if it's an older processor just forget about it you cannot run this game it's as simple as it is and on the other side you have the recommended system requirement which means you can run and i tested it here on my latest snapdragon android phones ios phones and you can run this game full 60 fps eye setting all around no problem it's smooth and here are just few tips and also list to do the things you must check on your phone if you are paying or planning to download the game is number one align your monitor refresh rate the earth to the chosen fps settings so for example if you play at 30 frames per second can put your monitor refresh rate at 30 hertz in your phone settings if you can so if you have 60 frames per second you will try to find your monitor refresh rate and you pull it at 60 hertz you don't want it to be above at 120 hertz because your mobile phone will be fetching 120 frame rates but your phone will give you only 60 frame per second so your device is likely going to overheat and after also your battery is going to drain number two close all your background application this is common sense number three please ensure you're in a cool area dude come on there are a lot of people you know i don't understand the mo i'm outside on the beach playing the game you know uh, chilling out under the sun and you know my mobile is a bit hot yes either you need to be in a cool area or like me i'm using external coolers on my mobile phones you can buy some but during the summer especially <laughs> to try to keep your device cool and number four you need 25 gig of free mobile storage on your device and once you check the processors first for your mobile your own device once again put your brand put after spec and go to look for the processors and you can check after if you are above or below the requirement the minimum requirement and after you have done you know just a few tips i share with you the least to do now let's finish with the bare minimum settings for a smooth gameplay without losing big time on your graphic quality and first as you can see here for the minimum requirement surprise surprise you should not use the 60 frame per second even with the low settings let's go through all the settings so for the graphic section first image quality on high the rendering after on medium the anti-aliasing on taa the shadows on medium the fx quality i frame per second 30 after when we go down the character quality i environment quality i volumetric fog enable the bloom enable the color filter strength at 10 and with all of these once again this is what you can see on the screen even with 30 fps and with a very old device that fit just just barely the minimum system requirement 
the game has been running very smooth on my 2019 old iPhone 11. This is not a Pro, by the way, just an iPhone 11. And now let's finish quickly the input here. Nothing much to say, you know, it's the user interface, it's touch, camera sensitivity, I like it to 5. It's perfectly fine for me on the gameplay. Automatic camera rotation, it's on. This is very helpful, especially on mobile. The board camera sensitivity, it's at 2. Same here, I have no issue with it. The quick menu setting, it's click setting here. You can customize your quick setting if you want to. This is quite net. After the audio, we don't care. After the language is totally up to you and after you have account and finally you have others and here you have show combat damage enable you have run in the city so you can press or just turn on it and finally the main story difficulty for the people who say oh it's a very easy game <laughs> i don't know if they pay attention but if you want you can challenge yourself with the challenge mode and i will do another video about it anyway but the most important part of course it's all about here the graphics quality so as you can see just in running the 30 frames per second because the game is so well optimized and really all the effect they put i already did a detailed video for withering waves about you know each features the fx quality the shadows how it works you know the volumetric fog also the bloom uh, this is just to add up some natural glare uh, the reflect etc from the sun and once again triple z do a fantastic job here in optimizing it and if i did any mistake or i missed anything today please feel free to let us know in the comment section below also please share your own setting your own device your gpu your system to help other channel members as i always receive hundreds of requests in the comment on those videos and as much as i'm always taking the time to do my best to answer them all i simply can't once again thank you so much for watching remember to destroy that like button and hit that bell turn on this notification to receive more content and support the channel and as usual i wish you all to be safe to be well and until the next stay tuned everybody